decided that I'm going to do a page. Uh, I have covered the um, spine or the, you know, where the discs go because uh, it's bright pink. Um, it's just a classic sized page from a notebook. And this is um, Live Love Posh Muted Blooms. And I'm going to do a page for Mother's Day just because, you know, Mother's Day was pretty quiet for me. And one of the things I like to do that makes me happy is play with my stickers and things. So I'm going to do a page and talk about my Mother's Day. So let's start with putting a sticker down on the page. Um, I had a quiet Mother's Day, actually. Um, I went to church with my mum and then we went to a local market and wandered around the markets for an hour or so, had a sausage sizzle like so we had a sausage sandwich and then i got a yeasty beasty donut which is my favorite donuts um so it was a good start to the day and yeah i had a good day um i pulled out my new stamps you will see coming up in a video. I haven't shared it yet, but I have a video where I played with them and I thought it would be a good good thing to put Mother's Day. So let's have a go. This is just for my book. So if it stuffs up, it really doesn't matter. It's just for me. And I will need the capital D, but the rest I'll do lowercase. Okay, so M. Maybe we'll try a bit harder. O. Oh. I didn't put them back in the order, so <laughs> finding them is fun. Oh, T. E is there. No, H. Whoa. Good call, people. Good call. You know I can't spell. Uh, let me say, you know I... I, I can barely spell my own name sometimes. <laughs> Good catch. I'm glad you, you stopped me doing that. And if you didn't, we're going to pretend you did. <laughs> e, I need an R. Oh, oh, excuse me. I've had a bit of a, a tickle for the last half hour in my throat. Mother S. Mothers. I'll have to put the little, what, what is that called? Hyphen, no, not a hyphen. A hyphen goes that way. Um, you know, the apostrophe. There we go. I'm with it now. Mother's Day. So I need a Y and an A. And I didn't clean these, so I am getting it all over me. Kind of. That is an A, yes. Okay. Or is that the, or is that a G? Oh, that might have been a G. Well, it's an A now, people. I should have looked at the back. Oh, well, it's an A now. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> okay. Like I said, we all know I can't spell. Um. So they all go there, but I had the stamps and I just felt like using them. Um, and as I said, I have filmed a video talking about how I got the stamps and when I got the stamps, and that will be released soon. 
So there's a start, Mother's Day, and yep, as per me, it's crooked. Hold that thought, I just want to get the ink off. Okay, I just give my hands a wipe on some paper towel. And I want it to say 2024. So I thought I would have a quick look in here to see if there was anything I wanted to use. Oh, hang on. The, one of the data books has the actual years. Is that this one? Maybe not. Oh, hang on. There we go. Um, okay, so that's clear. Have we got a paper one? Maybe the one before it. Woohoo! Look at that. Paper one for 2024. And we're on a roll. Look at that. Mother's Day 2024. And now I want big boxes. Let's see. Big boxes. I think I probably just need the one big box. Let's go to the back. Yes, all right. Let's do let's do it with the lines. And come here, wax paper, and we will pair it with a floral autumn. Okay, let's put it on the wax paper fairly straight. I know it doesn't have to be, but we'll, we'll pretend like we're professionals. And let's straighten up the page. Look at me go, eh? Um, all right. As I said, I don't have a lot to write. I like these. And that can come off the page, why don't you, without ripping, thank you. I think that's probably why I end up always taking the backing off things, because then it's less likely to rip said stickers. And of course, this sticker book was from a few years ago. So, you know, the older they get, sometimes they rip. The backing doesn't even want to come off this properly. But, you know, what can you do? You use this. I decided to do this because I'm also right into the. Um, like I know Live Love Posh has released four new books and I'm like at $44 each, I'm still paying off a car repair, I'm still paying off um, a car service and car registrations due next week, and, oh, sorry, end of this week coming and, you know, do I, I can't really afford to buy new sticker books. Um, I've, of course, I've put them in my cart. Well, I've like put them on my wish list at Washi Gang, but um, I don't think I'll get anything this time. Like I think I will probably luck out um, and not be able to purchase anything uh, due to financial constraints. Um, but using what I have is a big like use your, like I'm in that planner stash challenge um and so yeah so I just thought they look super cute going across the bottom there um so I thought um you know use what I have and this is from the muted blooms and I love muted blooms and I quite often use muted blooms from you know for um 
nope, too close uh, for, for autumn because they're florally, but they're also not bright and they're not bright and pink and yellow and sunny and if you know what I mean. And I probably made that piece of wax paper too big when I cut it out of the box, but how are we doing there? Yeah, that, that's all right. We can overlap that there. And then we've got this one here. So I like that. What are you and what are you doing on my wax paper? Um, all right, so now do we want to put this one down? I think we do. I think we're going to pop it there. Hey, look at that. It might even be straight because I've lined it up with the with the um, dot grid. Look at me go. And let's put – now, question. Do we want this – I think we want this overlapping like this. And I love the fact that these are paper. And so I don't have to wipe anything out. I'll put that one there. And I don't think I'll be using the whole page. But let's get this let's get this one in. Let's put this one over here. And we can back that right up to the edge. I think that's pretty cool. I do. I think that's pretty cool. Now, this, do we think we need something up there? And if so, what do you think we need? I'm not sure. I'm not sure we need anything. Though we might pull in this cream one. So, Oh, oh, hang on, what about that one? Let's try that one. Come here, wax paper. So I hope those who are celebrating Mother's Day, you know, Aunt's Day, Grandmother's Day, Adoptive Mother's Day, Legally Adopted Mothers, um, mothers who adopted people they know, like I have adopted people I know that aren't my children, but I mother them anyway. <laughs> um I hope everybody's had a, a really good Mother's Day. Yep, I'm going to put that there. Um, and like I said, I love playing with stickers. It's one of the things I like to do, so that's what I did. Um, I also had a nap after I got home. So we went to church, we went to the market, um, spent most of the morning with my mommy, and... Then to the supermarket, then I came home and oh, a friend from church gave me Kit Kats, bag of Kit Kats. So I was happy about that. Hold that thought while I have a slurp of my drink. Sorry about that. Uh, talking makes me thirsty. Um, so yeah, it was it was really good. May is an awfully busy month for us. Um, so you have my daughter's birthday last week. Today is Mother's Day. This coming week, you have my mum's birthday, and then my mum and dad's wedding anniversary. And then at the start of the next week, you have um, my dad's birthday. And my nephew's birthday, and my deceased grandfather's birthday's in there. That would have been the, that would be the Sunday, um, and then on the following. Oh, sorry. Let me start again. Okay, Kendra's birthday. That's my daughter. Uh, Mother's Day today. Grandson who I don't see. He turns one tomorrow. Uh, and then Thursday is mum, Friday mum and dad's wedding anniversary, Sunday would have been my grandfather, he's deceased, um, and then 
my dad's birthday, my nephew's birthday. He's been on the channel before. He's 15. I cannot believe that the, the, the boy is 15. Like, well, then again, my baby, my youngest is 23. So, you know, I'm old people. We know this. Um, so, yeah, so then um, his birthday and then the following week after that, uh, my eldest uh, stepdaughter is turning 27. Um, and, yeah, it's just month is huge for birthdays. Also, one of those adopted blood, not blood, not official adopted children um, is leaving for his mission uh, for the Latter-day Saint Church on Tuesday, super early in the morning. Um so, yeah, so he's going, he'll be gone for two years. Um, that's sort of given me some feels. And, yeah, so there's there's some things. Let's, yep, okay, I'm going to put that there. So, anyway, that's my Mother's Day spread for 2024. And I think I'm finished, so... Uh, I didn't actually get any gifts or haven't received any yet, but I had two phone, uh, two um, beautiful messages this morning before church. Um, so two messages from Kendra and Gemma. Um, then church with mum. Wish my handwriting was nicer. Uh, we then wandered around Judbury Market. Can't think of which. There we go, Judbury. Market. Uh, I got Kit Kats. <laughs> um, supermarket. Uh, for a few things, then I had a nap. And nap is going to go in capital letters because, yes. Then I had a nap. I slept for about an hour on the couch. Um, uh, then my husband made dinner. Uh, I say he made dinner, but I pre-cooked the other week, uh, the other day. So M made dinner. And we watched an episode of Good Omens. Season one. Then I came to do this. Then played with stickers. Now, I also had an, uh, got a message from Sarah and Riley later. Yeah, let's just put it like that. So there we go. That's my Mother's Day commemorative page to go in my planner for 2024. So... If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, and thank you for being here. And uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you liked it. And I know when I turn it over, it'll be blank on the back, but that won't matter. Um, and, yeah, as always, be good, be happy, be healthy, but most importantly, be you. Bye.